All right, we've got another mail call. Uh, I've already taken the knives out of the box, but I didn't want to waste the time uh, showing the unboxing. So we'll start as we always do with what's in my pocket. And that is my 06 Pemberton. Um, pretty small, traditional knife. Pretty cool knife. Um, they don't make these, haven't made them for a long time. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Let's see. I dropped it in the parking lot while I was taking a picture today. And you can see there, it's dinged up there. It's dinged up there. And I did it the wood a little bit, so oops. Anyway, on to the knives. Um, I've got three knives here. And the, the three knives that I picked up, if you couldn't tell, are 77 so I figured I'd pull these out my other 77s out just uh, as comparisons but I'm gonna slide those off to the side here we've got my 77 in desert ironwood um, let's see here let's see how it looks now I've seen that the grain is a lot straighter in these than the other uh, desert ironwood releases. I, I'm hoping that this one is a more of a curly grain, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be more straight. And I have some other examples that I can show you um, on the side. So there is a little bit of, of there is a little bit of curliness um, to the grain, but the ones I have are more like up here in the um, in the picture in the uh, on the knife. They're more like this. Um, <clears throat> you can see. Excellent centering. Uh, I can't feel any. I can't feel any transitions uh, on the bolsters, so that's excellent. The pull is nice. It's not quite as heavy as my other um, 77s. Uh, maybe it'll maybe it'll uh, loosen up a little bit with some oil, but the pull isn't quite as tight as on my my other um, my other ones. And I'll show you an example there. This one is a 77 Northfield as well. And you can see here, there's a significant, uh, significantly louder pop when it opens up. The walk and talk is much louder. You can hear that there. And then you can hear there, it's, it's a definite, it's a definite solid pop. Whereas here, it's a little, it's a little bit mushy. Um, and the pull's not quite as firm. It's not quite as firm. Not a knock on it, but uh, you know, I would like it a little bit more firm. But as you can see here, this is a, another piece of iron what I have, and you can see the uh, swirling of the grain. Lots of swirling and character um, in the grain, whereas here you can see it's a little bit more straightforward. It's not quite, not quite as much character. Um, this one right here, really has a lot of um, character. I love those blonde streaks. I love the squirrels in the um, ironwood. That's what I was hoping more for, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, oh, and I guess I should mention that now. In case you're gonna email me or ask me about these being for sale, I'm not selling any of them at this time. I'm not trading any of them at this time. I appreciate you, uh, you guys reaching out, but I'm holding on to them for the time being. So. That right there was the Desert Ironwood. This is the Natural Linen Micarta, which I think this is probably gonna be one of, if not my favorite. And we'll pack all this stuff back up. Let's see. And you can see here, I just, I like the uh, the character of this natural linen. I didn't always like the uh, the natural linen, but it's uh, it's grown on me. It's a little bit waxy. There's just quite a bit of oil on it. Um, you can see here, centering is excellent. Um, again, the transitions have been done very, very well. A little tiny, tiny um, catch there, but nothing to speak of. Again, the pull, the pull's not quite as, um, not quite as firm as the other 77s that I have, but it's not bad and I'm sure it'll loosen up. Um, so the walk and talk will be a little bit better with some oil. Um, it's not, it's not awful, 
but it's not great. So that's the natural linen micarta, and this is the blood red saw cut bone. So let's take a look at that. And this one did come out deeper, and that's what I was hoping for was a deep, deep red. I don't really care for the lighter reds, hence the fact that I didn't go after the um, the elderberry, which I didn't. Nobody knew what it was going to look like at the time, but it came out uh, kind of pink. So you can see here. Again, excellent centering, both blades. Um, little bit of a catch there, little bit of a catch there, good there, and good there. Um, again, fairly light pull uh, for my for my taste. I would say it's maybe maybe a five. That one is a little bit more firm, but again, it's not as as uh, firm as my other ones. And just for, for comparison, because the different materials do sound different, this is a single blade 77 Northfield. Um, the first time they ran it with the big pinchable clip, but I'll open and close this one back to back with this one and you'll hear the difference in the pull. And again, I know some oil will free it up, but I'm telling you, actually holding the knife and pulling the knife and pulling them back to back, this is a seven, this is more around a five. So even when I oil this up, this is not gonna have that same uh, walk and talk as this. I mean, this is, uh, this one walks and talks with authority. This one, it, it'll walk and talk better, but it's not gonna snap the same as this. And that's the same for all of the, the 77s that I have here. Um, very happy with them. Like I said, they're not for sale. Um, Great fit and finish. The only one that had any catches on the transitions was uh, this one on one side. Uh, I'll show you guys at half stop and at full open too because I know that interests some people. It's almost flush here. It's flush there and it's flush at close as well. Um, we'll look at the other knife. It's almost flush. It is. It is flush here. So that's excellent. Um, here, it's almost flush. And there, it is flush. Um, the other thing that, I, that I'm always blown away with is the, the back springs on these things. I mean, you can hardly tell what's the back spring, what's the spacer, and that just shows how well these knives are done. Um, excellent, excellent knives. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope I covered everything and didn't go on too long. If you want to know anything else, put it in the comments below. And always remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife.